we're about to take a look round a Sea Lion S48. This example uh, was built in 2002, uh, powered by a pair of Volvo TAMD 74 diesel engines. These are 480 horsepower each. Uh, she's shaft drive, big spec, and a big boat. talk about the outside very quickly here so um, we've got a hydraulic uh, folding bathing platform so this whole platform see there slides backwards and completely submerges under the water that's a really good method of um, launching and recovering a, uh, a tender uh, you've also got a passerelle and yeah you stand stuff like a transom shower um, boat has had a new canopy um, new cockpit upholstery new Raymarine nav kit, which we will have a closer look at. Um, decent side decks, easy to get around this one. And that bathing platform actually, uh, you know, because it's stepped, does make it very easy to get on regardless of the state of the tide. See, you've also got a uh, camera up there as well, along with the searchlight. So she's a hard top sports cruiser, so um, you'll see more clearly when we go inside, but you can see that there is the hard tops electrically operated, uh, sliding back. So when the sun shines, it's very easy to get some sunshine in the end down into the cockpit and it obviously then minimises the amount of canopy that you have. Right. Obviously being a big sports cruiser, the cockpit is arguably the most important bit. Let's take a look at that next. So as I mentioned earlier, um, cockpit upholstery has all been redone. Been done very well as well. I do really like the colour and the, and the mix with the piping. Um, works very well with the navy blue dashboard. But plenty of cockpit seating in here. Very, very comfortable. Nice teak finish on the floor as well. Um, we have also got an ice maker, cockpit fridge, and grill. Now this, um, a lot of these larger uh, sports cruisers, um, uh, you know, the fear is always that they can be cold uh, in the evening. We have got um, dedicated heating just in this cockpit. Uh, so that is a definite, uh, definite bonus. And the boat's also got air conditioning as well, so um, uh, when the sun does shine, uh, you, you can uh, get the benefit of the aircon. So the spec-wise, new marine, uh, new marine, new ray marine chart plotters and radar. We've got bow thruster, uh, VHF, speed, and uh, I'm assuming the other one's going to be depth. Oh, beg your pardon, autopilot. So very well specified. Just about everything you could possibly need. Um, boat's also got a large generator. Um, obviously mentioned the air conditioning, the folding um, bathing platform and the passerelle. Again, if you're familiar with sea lines, you know that they have got some very good storage ideas. So we've got storage up in the hard top roof here. And again, the sort of additional clamshell, uh, which uh, you can fold your canopy. Um, you can put the canopy up in there. So that's just the rear section. You'd have to take the sides out. Won't won't take the sides in, but you know this rear section will fold up in there. It's all in very very good order. Um, but we'd expect that because it's all new upholstery, but it is very nice. Very nicely finished, dashboards are good. Um, can't see any real fading or anything like that on them. Very nice. Uh, you've got this side door on the port side. Um, certainly handy for getting around the boat without having then to go out through the, the rear of the boat. So handy for fenders and yeah, mooring and that sort of stuff. Okay, let's take a look inside the cabin.
before we take a look inside the cabin, let's have a look in the engine room. It's quite a good space in here. You can get around your engines. And you have got a fair bit of storage as well. That's your air conditioning units. And just behind me here, we've got the generator. If you can hear our sort of ticking noise on the video, that is the um, ultrasonic anti-fouling. Okay, let's check out that cabin. So the layout of the 48 does give you two decent cabins, both with toilets and showers. Um, and you know, you do get a quite a comfortable saloon as well. Let's just zoom back a bit. Um, so the saloon, obviously the seating you can see here, and we've got the port side, and then we've got a decent galley uh, just there to starboard. Um, this galley includes, uh, you know, obviously she has got a generator, so it's all electric, got electric hob, um, dishwasher, uh, obviously fridge, that sort of stuff. So it's nicely finished. Let's take a closer look at that. Lots of storage ideas. Got this open storage here, ideal for bottles, that sort of stuff. Um, plenty of above counter storage. And then we've got some good low storage as well. We draw, you know, pull out drawers. So it's all been well thought out. Nicely finished. Um, seats are, this is an Alcantara uh, type material. Yep, oh, I can confirm it's very comfortable. It's nice and bright in here as well, thanks to these large, two large sunroofs. Start with the day toilet compartment. Electric toilet, decent sized compartment actually. You know, really good headroom in there. Uh, six foot plus headroom in there, no problem. And it is then en suite into the forward cabin. Island double, kind of expect that on a boat like this. But you have, again, storage isn't bad. We've got two hangar lockers, one to port, one to starboard. Um, you know, we've got reading lights and recessed lighting in the ceiling all very nice and looking around here uh, you know woodwork's in good order headlinings are all very tidy you'll notice there was no shower in that day toilet compartment because that is to here is this to to the port side just off the forward cabin so you've got a totally separate shower which Again, more than six foot headroom, a lot more. I like that though, separate shower is, um, uh, it, it is very handy and certainly makes the whole staying on board that much more comfortable. Okay, so we'll head to the aft cabin. Again, really nice space. I mean, there's an argument that this is the main cabin. Lovely big room. Again, light and bright, thanks to this big um, escape hatch we've got here. And I do like a low level uh, port light as well. Storage is good. We've got a large hanging locker <coughs> at the foot of the bed. Full length mirror, additional sort of vanity uh, unit uh, storage as well. And the ensuite, again, electric toilet. It's all nicely finished. And again, we have a separate shower. Not 
probably not quite as big as the one in the forward cabin, but um, more than adequate. I mean, there's plenty of space in here. And again, excellent head height, six foot plus headroom, no problem at all. It's all, I mean, it's all very nicely finished. You've got this sort of marble effect, that like Corian um, in the uh, toilet compartments, um, as you have in the uh, galley and, and up on the barbecue unit in the cockpit as well. And again, linings, woodwork, all very smart in here. The boat has been used both on the broads <clears throat> and at sea. She's been based at uh, Lower Stoff Marina. Um, or Royal Norfolk Suffolk, actually, I should say. Beg your pardon. Uh, but, yeah, so it's been used uh, inland and offshore. Um, and as we mentioned at the start of the video, she's very well specified. I think it's too much to list here, really. Um, uh, you know, full details uh, of, of, the, of the specker you can find on our website. But, um, yeah, it's got everything you need. Um, you've got a large generator, uh, twin 480 horsepower engines on shaft. Um, we've got air conditioning, we've got heating, we've got updated nav kit. Um, new, uh, you know, and all the expensive stuff's been done, really. You know, you've got new cockpit upholstery, new canopy. Uh, so, yeah, and the rest of the boat's in lovely order. She's lying with us in uh, Brundle. Well worth uh, driving over and taking a look. You know, the Sea Lion 48 is a yeah, big, comfortable sports cruiser. Uh, and as you expect with Sea Lion, you know, they do maximise every inch of the boat. Okay, thanks for watching. As I say, full details can be found on our website, www.mya.co.uk.